you on the table. Hello? Excuse me. Kimber, in what universe is this where you need to be? This is the 100 baby challenge, not Cirque de Soleil. What is this? I don't think that's where you should go. Also, you're pregnant, so that's really dangerous. Don't ever do that again. She's crazy. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to episode 48 of my 100 baby challenge. Last episode, we kind of worked on upgrading the house a little bit. We added some decoration, some landscaping, and we moved a couple of kids out. Or I don't know, maybe we didn't move any kids out, but we definitely aged a lot of kids up. So let's go ahead and hop in. We do have a baby on the way and I'm very, very excited about it. Okay, you're kidding. It's 5 a.m. and you guys are already awake. Oh my God. That's like so unrealistic. I don't think anyone would willingly wake up at 5 a.m. Morning, Bubble. How are you doing today? I don't think Bubble's actually been to school yet. Today is gonna be, well, actually no, it's Saturday. I was gonna say today is gonna be their first day of school, but they're off the hook. Have you done your homework? Okay, seems like they have. Okay, Tiger's awake and upset because she has a loose tooth. I get it. Here's our iconic Ruby. I think maybe past Shella had them all do like homework and stuff. So we might be in good standings right now. Yeah, it seems like I was on top of it last time. Go me. So it doesn't really matter what they do today. I'm going to be focusing mainly on our toddler. Oh, we do have to age up Remy though, right? I'm pretty sure it's Remy's birthday today. Ooh, not fun. Having an infant, not looking forward to that. We got to do what we got to do. What are you so shocked about, Kimber? She like woke up and gasped. I, I must have missed something. Oh, Allspice fell and broke her tooth out. That actually hurts so bad. I'm really sorry that happened to you, my friend. Kimber, thanks for suggesting I hang out with Bronson. We had a great time. Yeah, no worries. I literally don't even know who that is. <laughs> All right, let's do some super efficient newborn care. And then we're going to go ahead and age up Remy. There we go. Humble Borbna. All right, Remy is sunny. Oh, yay. Exciting. What a little cutie. Can we actually give Remy a bubble bath like right away? That would actually be really iconic. And Remy got a smile unlocked. Already starting off on a good foot. Jokesters. Bubble and Allspice want to be jokesters. Absolutely. That's way better than the alternative. A lot of my kids recently have been having like difficult dynamics. So I'm, I'm glad that it's the alternative over here. Okay, Remy should now have first bath, bubble bath, and I think first smiled. So we already have three milestones in like the matter of a couple of seconds here. That's really exciting. Okay, here we go. Bear's awake. Hi, bear. Where are you going? Just sing a song? No, what if we didn't sing a song? What if instead we asked Ruby to help us go potty? I think that'd be so good. No, I don't want to make a generous donation. Does it look like I'm made of money? I'm not. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get Kimber to put Remy down on this mat here so we can work on some skill building because I can just put the moonstone in the general vicinity and we should be good. Let me go ahead and grab this. Or sorry, it's not moonstone. It's my plumbite. I put the plumbite on the table. You're going to be so happy so fast. Bear loves to sing. Oh, wait, that's so cute. Why? Okay, are you not getting potty help? I literally asked Ruby to potty train you. Come on, Ruby. You gotta step up and help out, okay? Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Look, everything's going great. Just keep looking at the toys. Okay, I'm going to see. I'm hoping we get some plumbite today. Tiger likes pranks. Sure, why not? What could go wrong? Just my toilets start exploding. Y'all remember when the goofball trait used to do that? Okay, we got a reach milestone. Way to go. And now you can play with your toys. Good job. Okay, and you're learning how to poop. Oh, good. You can actually poop by yourself now. That's that's really good. Ruby's very sad about losing a parent. All right, that's because Kiyoshi died the other day, isn't it? I remember. Okay, when you're done pooping, I need you to go upstairs so you can work on your Wabbit tablet skills. I think I have to teleport her because she doesn't have enough movement yet. Oopsies. We're going to sit here in the presence of the plumbite where our skills will be easy to gain because we're going to be getting positive moodlets. Look, everything is slowly going up. We'll be okay. You're fine. You're fine. Keep playing with your toys. It's okay. All right. What did we get off the gem tree today, Kimber? Anything good? No, I don't see plumbite. This makes me sad. I'll just sell everything else. I am going to have you go work on your seances though. Can you commune with the departed for me? A get together before prom. No, I'm busy. Speaking of communing with the departed, me and my husband watched Coco last night and we both cried like babies. I don't know what it is about Coco, but every time I watch it, I like sob. Disney movies often make me sad, but like Coco devastates me. It's like a different level. Oh, bless you. Are you doing okay? Keep playing with your toys, okay? You're doing great, kid. All right, Kimber's in here doing seance things. What is our level? Okay, that was scary. I'm a medium level one. Oh, something broke in here. Are you playing ping pong? Oh, okay. Yeah. You, and, you and Ruby are gonna hit some ping pong together? I mean, have fun. Don't get beat. At least they're not playing juice pong because Kimber's pregnant. I would be a little questioning if she decided to do that. All right, how's it going? Communication is going up. All of our needs are met. This is really good. And we also, I saw we got a reach milestone with Sunny. Sorry, Remy. Remy is Sunny. I got her name wrong. All right, keep playing with your toys. You're doing fine. You don't need to go night-night yet. Ruby won. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you lost, Kimber. Great work, Ruby. This is way better than prom, right? <laughs> All right, Kimber, let's keep working on our seance stuff. Ruby, I need you to like help clean up around the house. We got some poopy diapers going on, all that stuff. Dispose of dead plants. Dang, 
thank you. Also, how is your skills coming along? We need to get a skill to level three. And it seems like painting is what you've been working on. So after you finish cleaning up, maybe we could do some painting today. Uh oh, why are you sad? You want to go to sleep? All right, you can go night night then. See if I care. Uh oh, Kimber's communing with the departed and it's causing the lights to flicker. That's so scary. That knocking sound. I thought that was knocking on my door in real life. Oh my gosh. No, I, I can't go to the t-shirt festival. Sorry. I'm just so busy. All right. Ruby just got to painting level three, which means the next time we go to school, I think we might level up. Well, no, actually our performance is not that great. We still got a couple days with her. I don't want to go to prom. I'm too busy. We're trying to build some skills. Okay. All right. And then Tiger has a skill at level four. Allspice has a skill at level four. Bubble has a skill at level three. We'll be level four before no time time. Then we're mostly just waiting for you. Okay, we got communication level three. So let's work on our imagination. I'm gonna have Bear go downstairs and do that because this, this tent is overpowered. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? All right, when is Kimber due, by the way? Are we, we're going into our third trimester in 18 hours. Okay, that's good news. No, Ruby and Bubble have a difficult family dynamic. I'm pretty sure Ruby has like difficult family dynamics with everyone. Is it her personality? I mean, she's cringe. Could being cringe do that? They're obnoxious and oblivious. Often met with polarizing reactions. They can be unaware of their surroundings at times, but have an adorable enthusiasm for life. Okay, well, maybe her siblings are just over how cringe she is. It seems like that might be the case. All right, great work, Bear. Now we're just gonna get your sliding skill to level three. And then Bear's gonna be pretty much ready to age up like pretty soon because we got almost everything to level three. Then we just gotta work on potty. It's always potty. That's like the last skill. But we got this. This plumbite is making things so much faster. Let's do some pumpkin spice waffle. Uh oh, my game is starting to lag. What's going on? Honestly, I need my kids to kind of go to bed. It's like 10 p.m. So can you guys get some sleep, please? I might have to force them to be a little bit tired because they've been around this gemstone all day, which is like keeping them awake. I'm gonna go ahead and charge it tonight. All right, let's check back in with Bear. Bear's doing good. And Remy got the toe and mouth milestone. All right, we're honestly rocking it. I feel like after almost 50 episodes, I'm finally getting the hang of this. Okay, and then Potty. I guess we'll just go poop for a bit. You don't really need to sleep. We can never just get through the night with everyone sleeping someone's always got to be awake just the deal not to mention half the time it's like ghosts that are just wandering around oh remy got frequently sneezes that is so cute do you want to do tummy time with remy since you're here you might as well oh my god my waffles are haunted i forgot about them oh no why would you do that why wouldn't you just get the waffles out for your family come on oh no and poor bear is actually scared of ghosts wait that's so sad uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry that you're having to deal with this she's being scared oh poor baby all right nice we got lift head milestone and and coup milestone for Remy. Okay, Remy, overachiever, how many milestones did you get in one day? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight milestones in one day. That's actually kind of crazy. You're doing a great job. All right, one more potty and you should be actually good to age up. We have so many kids. I feel like the plum bite is so OP for toddlers. Why is there a squid on my table? Tentacle Tom? Interesting. Oh my God, come on, please. You're literally at 99%. There we go. Okay, now you're ready to age up. We'll go to sleep first though. She's like scared of ghosts right now though and it's like a legit fear because there literally was a ghost here Oof, not a good day so far ruby huh still feeling sad about your father's death you never even met him oh it might start snowing soon i didn't even realize we were in winter oh my god there's a plum bite in the tree there's actually two plum bite in the tree oh my god that's actually so good and then the rest are jet this must be like a rare spawn i need to go harvest those we can get some more plum bite gems around the house ruby can you come help bottle feed your sister thank you kimber's a little busy thanks you're the best you'll be out of this house soon, I promise. Bear had a nightmare. They were a contestant on a reality TV show being criticized by a demeaning judge with a nice mustache. Oh, you're like four. <laughs> I wonder what reality TV show a toddler would be on. Oh, probably like toddlers and tiaras or dance moms or something. Poor thing. All right, let's 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 go ahead and age up Bear. I'm gonna ask Ruby for help. Amber, I need you to go get that plum bite like so bad. I'm being so honest. You might pee your pants for this. Oh, you're too uncomfortable now? Oh my god, fine. Go pee. Hey, back off. That's my plum bite magic. Okay. I'm sorry. Is that a Yeti? Okay. This, this let's play is cursed. I don't know. I wouldn't really call this a let's play. It's more of a series. Okay, can you help age up Bear, please? Thank you. Kate's being carried. Okay, well, it's a good thing you're aging up. You won't have to be carried again. Humble Borpna Bear. She aged up real quick. All right. Give me a random number between one and five. Two. And our trait is loner. All right. Well, you're going to hate living in this house, let me tell you. Okay, and then I guess I'll go ahead and give you a makeover and cast. I forgot to give Remy a 
a makeover too. Oh my god, Remy actually doesn't have white hair. Remy has black hair. It was like a little overlay thing. That's actually so funny. We need more toddler hairs. I hope we get some soon. But there we go. That's Remy. All right, Bear. I kind of like the hair you had, the, the Batu hair. I can give you some cute eyelashes. There we go. And then I kind of want you to really just only wear red things. I don't know. <laughs> you are red, so it makes sense. It's giving not so berry. This is the wrong series. <laughs> All right, Red's makeover is over. I keep calling her Red. Her name's Bear. I don't know. It's probably because I did have a sim name Red in another Let's Play, so it's getting mixed up in my head. All right, well, there's an issue. We're actually not gonna have enough beds for all the kids. I only have four teen slash kid beds, so we're gonna need to figure something out. I guess I could always put another bed in the nursery. I don't ever use that changing table anyways. There we go. That sorts it. All right, let me just assign this bed. Bear. And now I need to check on Kimber. When is the baby coming? Third trimester in two hours. Okay, well, let's harvest all harvestables. Hey, Kimber, I think Esteban is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Yes, go for it, Bobby. I need grandkids. Well, I don't need grandkids. Why are you on the table? Hello? Excuse me, Kimber, in what universe is this where you need to be? This is the 100 baby challenge, not Cirque de Soleil. What is this? I don't think that's where you should go. Also, you're pregnant, so that's really dangerous. Don't ever do that again. She's crazy. Okay, we got two plum bite, three jet. That's actually really good. So I could summon the Grim Reaper at will. I wish there was a way to woohoo with the Grim Reaper. I don't know if there actually is, but I could summon him and woohoo with him. It just never gives me the option. Okay, let's go in here. We're gonna go ahead and cut a gemstone. Let's do a brilliant cut for the plum bite. We're gonna make a couple of these. All right, work hard. Don't mess it up. Oh, Remy is so freaking cute. Okay, you, I actually need you to do your homework. Wow, I've never had this many kids at once, I don't think. Cheese is wondering if I wanna go over to their house and hang out. No, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm busy. That would've been fun though, if I had time. We're really kind of just running behind on having kids. I need Kimber to hurry up. Sure, can we hurry this pregnancy along? It looks like she's gonna give birth tomorrow around noon or something. Okay, and Remy only needs two more milestones to age up as well. So we're honestly, we're doing really great. I feel like we've almost like doubled our speed with Plum Bite. Oh, Fridge is calling. Yeah, I'll talk to Fridge. Okay, okay, go to go to the bathroom then. Got a minute to help me with some recyclables. Who are you? Oh, that's, here you go. No, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Sorry. Kimber, you're really gonna make pizza right now? We have so much food. I wanted you to finish the Plum Bite today. Come on. Tyler Heller wants to be my close friend. Okay, well. <gasps> Remy got a laugh mile. Milestone. Wait, I think that means Remy only needs one more milestone to age up. That would be pretty iconic. Okay, well, Kimber did not finish the freaking plum bite today because she's gonna pee her pants. That is extremely upsetting. It's okay, we'll have to finish it in the morning. We need to put Remy down. All right, Remy, try to go night-night. You need to go to bed, go to bed. Oh my God, take care of yourself and then go to bed. Go to bed. All right, we're doing okay. Oh no, my fish dinner spoiled. Oh, it had eight fish left in it. I guess my Sims just don't like fish. Sad, what a waste. Okay, now I'm not sure why we're up at 1 a.m. Kimber, you're literally still tired. Go back to bed. Ooh, it started snowing. All right, first one up this morning is Bear. Rise and shine. I think today is gonna be her first day of school, which is exciting. Oh, the bills are so expensive. All right, kids, get ready for school. Take care of your needs. Do what you gotta do. We're gonna have so many teens at the same time. I feel like all four of these kids are like so close to each other in milestones and everything. Bear likes jokes, sure. Why the heck not? <gasps> Remy had a first blowout milestone. Oh my God, I think that means that we can age up Remy. So I'm pretty sure that's 10. Okay, bye. Bye everyone. Let me have you all study hard. It's literally just Kimber and Remy at home now. This is going really well for us. Oh, whoa, no, you're gonna pee your pants. Why aren't you taking care of yourself? Oh, Kimber. I have a Sims bladder fail on a lot with five or more toilets. And apparently I got maximum painting for that. I mean, watercolors? I don't know. Who's calling me? Oh, I'm gonna get a bajillion calls about school now, aren't I? Okay, Kimber, I need you to go take a shower and then we're gonna age up Remy and then we're gonna go finish our plum bite, okay? It's gonna be great. My date with Esteban went great. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, Bobby. Congrats. All right, let's do super efficient infant care. And then we can come downstairs and age up Remy. This cake should still be good. Let's go humble our Borpnas. Very exciting. I feel like Remy is the fastest infant we've ever aged up. This all happened in one episode. Yay! Oh my god, and she's independent. Literally a queen. Remy, you're my new favorite. You're my new favorite employee. You have been promoted. Okay, before you're hungry again, Kimber, I need you to go finish making this gemstone. I've heard a lot about baby donator. No, you cannot be in the club. You are my child that is not how this works. Not that kind of let's play. All Spice, we'd love to have you join club cosplay. What do you think? <laughs> not a werewolf calling my child. Yeah, sure, why not? No, I can't. I'm in school. They literally invited me to a club gathering. Who's in this club? Okay, we got Gideon, Harris, Darlin,
Killing Munch, Jenna Volkov, Big Mystery, and All Spice are all in the cosplay club. All right, well, isn't that something? Do you think it's because she's dressed like a like a cowboy? All right, let's go ahead and charge this on the grid. Amber, you're gonna go ahead and eat something, my friend, because you're gonna give birth any second now. In the meantime, let me go really quickly and fix Remy's outfits as a toddler. Even though she won't be a toddler for long, I still wanna give her something that looks a little coherent. Oh, I love the little glasses on her. I think that's cute. She can keep those. All right, I did all little Remy's outfits with her cute little flower glasses. She's literally so adorable. All right, Kimber, any second now you're gonna have a baby. Uh oh, I think she might be sick. Are you sick? Take medicine. She is, she's dizzy. Oh, poor thing. Oh, and she's gone into labor. All right, there we go. Well, this is a great way to end the episode. Let's go ahead and have that baby. Uh oh, I'm sorry. While that water looks pretty deep, Kimber flashes back to all the scary experiences of being in the water. She'd rather not experience that vast and terrifying expanse again. She has a fear of swimming. She has a fear of the water and will run out immediately if she somehow ends up in the water. Okay, I'm not sure how that happened from you like cleaning up, but I'm busy, Soggy. I'm in labor. Or was it because her water broke that she's afraid of the water? That's actually quite unfortunate because that's going to be happening a lot. Not looking good for Kimber. Oh, good. And the kids are home just in time to meet their sibling. Allspice and Tiger are A students as well. Oh my gosh, we have so much happening. All right. It's a boy. All right. Let's go ahead and spin that wheel. If you'd like to have a name on this wheel, make sure to leave a comment down below. Grass. Oh, wow. That's, that's a name. All right. Some of y'all have some interesting suggestions. Grass Lynn. There we go. Wow, baby grass is here. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is such a funny name. All right, well, okay. We have so much going on right now, but I think I wanna save like aging up our Sims for the next episodes. That way we have something to look forward to. So I'm just gonna have Kimber take care of grass here and we'll have to hop in on the next episode for next week to have all of our kids aging up. Also, I had you take medicine and you're still dizzy. That's not good. I'm really sorry, Kimber. Well, thank you all so much for watching. What a, what a way to end the episode with a baby named Grass. I'm definitely looking forward to, I'm pretty sure we can age up Tiger and Allspice. So that means we'll have two more teens in the house and hopefully Ruby will end up moving out next episode as well. So we can continue having Kimber get pregnant, have more babies and we are well on our way. OMG, wait, I didn't update the baby counter. Sorry, sorry. 29 babies. We're almost to 30 now, okay? Anyways, we're well on our way. <laughs> <laughs> to, to finishing the 100 baby challenge before I die. So we'll we'll keep up this pace. It's a, it's a good pace. If you all did enjoy this episode or any of my other content here on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. But until next time, I love you all a lot and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.